The United Nations peacekeeping chief Javier Latsus, on a two-day visit to South Sudan, told reporters in Juba that the United Nations will begin deploying a regional protection force to the South Sudanese capital in the next few weeks. Speaking on Tuesday, March 21st, at the end of his visit to the country, Latsu says that the United Nations would spare no effort to speed up the deployment of the Security Council mandated force. The deployment of the Regional Protection Force. We are working actively on it. We did lose time because there were a number of slownesses in getting clearances, authorizations here. Uh, but we are sparing no effort to speed up, and I think I can say that in the next few weeks you will see the first vanguard of the Regional Protection Force being deployed actually here in Juba. And that, I think, will be a very important signal, you know, that things are moving ahead. Latsu said the first troops to arrive for the Regional Protection Force will be from Rwanda, Nepal, Bangladesh and Ethiopia. The 4,000 strong protection force was authorized by the Security Council in August of last year in response to a surge in violence in the country. Latsu stressed that the solution to the South Sudanese crisis was political. political solution. The continuation of hostilities is not a solution because there will always be a group or a subgroup, and we do not fail to notice that there are further divisions, further defections, you know, that the picture is getting very complex indeed. Uh, so you cannot hope that a solution will come by the use of weapons. The solution has to be political. Speaking on the famine situation in Unity State, Latsud said that the situation was tragic. It is a tragic situation, and I believe two counties in Unity, Mayandit and Lear, have been formally declared in a state of famine. And that is not going to improve, because right now would be normally the planting, the crop planting season, but farmers simply are not there, or are moving around, or have gone abroad. And so uh, the mitigation of the famine after the next uh, cropping s uh, season is not going to happen in a, very sat in a satisfactory way. While in the country, the peacekeeping chief met with the South Sudanese president, Salva Kiir, and discussed the challenges hindering the work of humanitarian workers. South Sudan is one of the countries in the world where we had the most incidents you know, of humanitarian workers being prevented from doing their work, for humanitarian workers being actually killed or injured while on the job. Uh, so I welcome, of course, the assurances of uh, the president that this is uh, not going to happen further. Under Secretary General Latsus, together with the USG designate Jean-Pierre Lacroix, arrived the country on Monday 20th. This was Latsu's last visit to the region after being on the job for six years. Jean-Pierre Lacroix takes over as peacekeeping chief on April 1st, 2017.